Good morning. Yes, you can't see my face. Things are happening differently around here today. And I am playing Scribble Knots. I picked this up a little while ago on, the, on one of the Steam sales, and it is weird and fun and has lots of interesting things to learn. And did I mention that it's weird? I mean, Scribble Knots is ostensibly a game about using the language to be helpful to people. So, I mean, if we click on the kids, and oh, I can steal from them, which is super fun. I'm going to reset the level here real quick. So, if I click on the kids, they're like, please, help me. No, they're not. Why, well, kid, why are you such a jerk? Oh. That old man just grabs the baseball for no reason. Yeah, help the boyfriend on his big date. And ideally, you're, you're supposed to be using your magic notebook with which you can create any object to be helpful to people. You know, you sit here and you're like, oh, well, he needs to be presentable. He needs a giant boat. Now he has a giant boat. Yeah, not, not super useful, uh, it turns out. Really, though, I don't think this is a game about language or being helpful. This is a game about temptation. It gives you godlike powers and says, go, go and be helpful to people. And for the first little while, you are. There's a lot of levels in this game, though. And pretty soon, you stop being helpful. And you start... Well, you'll see. I mean, so this guy, I mean, we're going to be helpful. we got to make him presentable for his date. So, I mean, I'm from Canada, and the thing you need to be presentable is a toque. Put on your toque, sir. Oh, that's not good enough for you. Well, fine. Also, you will need a parka. Because I'm from Canada. Put on the parka! Jerk. I don't want my parka either. Uh, how about... Tuxedo. I like tuxedos. They don't come in thermal, but... Awesome, now he's got the tuxedo and he's going in to get his hair cut and I'm gonna stay around here and screw around. But, wh where's your tuxedo? Where's your... Seriously? What should he pick her up in? Oh, I know the answer to that! A giant boat. Get in the boat. It's fine, man. It's fine. Fine. Get back. Jetpack is fine. Well, to be fair, I would also pick up a date in a jetpack if I could. Um, but we'll see. Oh, wait. Are you not happy with jetpack? I need to. Oh, you can't pick. You can't pick her up in a jetpack, dude. Work on your upper body strength. Do you even lift? Seriously. Oh, all right, fine, fine. We're not gonna, we're not gonna use the jetpack. We're gonna. What's, what's something cool? A Corvette. Can I, can I do that? No, they're branded. You can pick her up in a cornet. It's got this weird internal dictionary. Oh, that's a cornet, not a coronet, which is what I thought I was making. Um, sure, you can keep wearing that. It's no two, but it'll do. Uh, race car, race car. Now, I don't want to be in the race car. I have wings. Hell yeah. But this race car, you can add an adjective to it here. It needs to be giant and flying and purple. Purple. And man-eating. Oh, crap. See, and this is pretty much how um, these things work. Maybe man-eating race car, not a plan. All right, so we're going to give him a bow tie because bow ties are cool. Bow tie. What? What? A fez. Fezzes are cool. Not even gonna take the Fez, man. 
You, you, sir, are lame. All right, fine. Uh, what do we have last time? A tuxedo? Uh, this time we'll go with an evening dress. An evening gown. Uh, oh, oh, even better, even better. Ball gown. But, what? Take the ball gown. Wow, I, oh, wow. Way to be super gender normative, game. I'm really just trying to be unhelpful at this point. I mean, this is the thing, is I've been playing this game for about, I don't know, two hours now, and I'm already at the point where I am done being a benevolent god and making little baseballs for people, and I am at the point where I want to mess around with them a whole bunch. I made a man-eating goddamn race car, for Christ's sake. What should he pick her up in? Uh, purple UFO. I don't know why purple, but it works. Pick the UFO. Ha! Ah, he took the UFO! She looks nice. Mm. She's all dressed up. You can't show up empty-handed. You know what you need? A muffler. It's a part of a car. Just give it to her. Dude, girls like mufflers! Do it! Go! I'm sheer out of flying fucking magic pen Bergerac here! Go do it! Fine. Don't take the muffler. Take a squid. Girls also like squid. Oh, that's a that's a wicked looking squid. Take it. Did you just eat it? Um, did you just eat the squid? I don't. That wasn't for you. Oh. Uh... Yeah, let's go with elfish flowers. I don't know what that means. I... What is that? Uh -huh. She digs the elfish flowers. Uh -huh. Alright, this girl is a keeper, man. She is super cool. Look at her rock those elfish flowers. Oh, we gotta create something, some kind of mood thing. You know, you know what's awesome? You know what's awesome to do with your loved ones? Watching a meteor shower. This is going to end very well. Now, we're obviously not going to drop this on them because that would be terrible. There we go. Isn't that... Oh, God. Um... We must undo what I have done. Okay. I think... I think we're okay. We need to create something that 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 makes it more romantic, though. Um, alien invasion. They'll bond. No, I, I mean invasion. An alien invitation. Alien and alien infection. What are you doing? Infect things. All right. That's apparently not working. Um, an alien uprising. No, an alien urchin? Oh my god, it's an alien urchin. Go over there and just sort of hang out. Oh my god, she stole the UFO! This is not Grand Theft Auto. Go away, alien urchin. Yes, I stuffed you in my garbage can. I don't have my wings anymore. God, this, th this stuff is hard. Being romantic? Difficult. True fact. I don't know anything about this. Ah. What do people go and do? They watch TV. Did I just accidentally drop a TV on you, dude? I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. But, I mean, you get an adjective. Oh, yeah! Are you... Let's make you musical. That way you'll be talented. Did that work? No. No, it really didn't. Oh, man. I don't know what to use to make this more romantic. Uh, we meteor shower and aliens and...
monster. Am I feeding these things to my UFO? No. Oh god, monster! Quick! Let's... Two hero, fight the monster! Oh, she's gonna need something. Let's... Let's make her a badass. So she can fight the monster. You are going to need uh, invulnerability. This is seriously a game of you know invulnerable. Yes, sorry, invulnerable. That way she can't die, and we will give her a vorpal sword. I don't know why I swallowed this fly. There we go. Oh yeah, just kill the monster. How romantic is that? You're not impressed. All right, well, guess what? You don't deserve to be big anymore. That was super cool, but guess what? Now you're tiny. Soon you're tiny. Now you're tiny. How do you feel about that? She's like, yeah, do you even lift, bro? He says, no, but I'm slightly musical. But, you know, I'm sort of looking over your shoulder at the UFO and the squid and the superhero, wondering what the hell's going on and why that superhero has an X over him. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, what's going on over here, citizens? She's like, man, you're so tiny. That superhero is super buff. Let's make him super buff. He's gonna be ripped. No. Uh, ruby? Sure. Oh my god, he's a ruby superhero. That's amazing. What would make this more romantic? How about fireworks? We'll go with fireworks. For a first date, that's pretty good. Fireworks and... No, 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 don't... Give me the fireworks. I just died helping people on a date. Oh my god! So, moral of the story for today... Scribble Nuts tempts you to do nice things by giving you godlike powers. I am terrible at romantic endeavors, and you should probably never ever let me advise you on how to conduct a date. I will see you guys next week, or on Friday, not next week, on Friday with some music and some fun. Alright, I am going to try this one more time without hopefully embarrassing myself. Bye. I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies I'd never leave you behind